Hello everyone, today I'm pretty excited because we're having the king on the show, King John Obidi. And I'm super excited because over the years I've learned so much from you, sir. I've been so inspired. Your work, like the things you do, your level of wisdom, your, your charisma, your level of audacity. And it's been like, you've been a source of inspiration for a lot of people, for young Africans. And today I just have one question for you, sir. And the question is, what really drives you because every year it's more like there is always a new version of John Obidi and right now we don't even know like what is the new version of John Obidi coming on board I'm asking this question what really inspires you that's the first question then there are people that are asking themselves this question um, they actually want to reinvent themselves they've seen John Obidi every year there's a new version of John Obidi and they're asking this question how can they become new how can they become a new version of themselves and I'm asking sir what really inspires you and what would you have to say to people that really want to reinvent themselves? Okay, so we're talking about reinvention. Yes, I, I wouldn't say I'm inspired okay. by something. Um, let's cut it down to self-knowledge. Okay. Self-knowledge is where it all starts. Yeah. Um, there's a philosophical saying that says, man know thyself. Yes, and I like to take it back to origins, at least the origins of evolutionary biology. Yes, all right? And um, I mean, it's a theory, not a law, but that humans have evolved over the years. And not just humans, but species all yes, over sir. the planet. Yes, and when you look at the, the conditions that force animals or plants to evolve, yes, it's usually been when they have been threatened with extinction. When they are facing an existential crisis, they have to adapt. And so in biology, we have what we call survival of the fittest. Yeah. And so we say that the dinosaurs went extinct yeah. because they were unable to adapt. Yes, sir. There are so many species that were there when the climate of the earth was changing many billions of years ago. Yeah. But as the climate was changing, their bodies were somehow sensitive to the changes yeah. and they were adapting. Yeah. When there was water everywhere, species that did not have fins began to develop fins. Yeah. Yeah, they, they began to learn how to swim underwater or yeah. to, rather to breathe underwater yeah. with gills and all of that. Yeah. Right, so it is the natural proclivity of man to evolve. Okay. And so even though we're not looking at evolution now in the biological sense, yeah. we're looking at the, the metaphorical meanings of evolution as a human being, as a homo sapien. Yeah. It is in our nature to evolve. Okay. And we are one of the only species who are able to evolve mentally. Wow. The way a dog behaves today is the way yeah. it's going to behave in a thousand years, yeah. probably, yeah. except through um, through an intervention yeah. by some other species, yeah. like human beings. Yeah. Human beings, we train dogs. Yes. We help them to do things that they would never be able to do on their own. Yeah. But you see, before going to train dogs and dolphins and cats, yeah. before going to domesticate them, yeah. you must first domesticate yourself. Of course. Uh, before trying to get a dog to do superhuman things, yeah. you should be able to train yourself yeah. to do superhuman things. So yeah. evolution is the first natural proclivity of man. It wow. is going to happen consciously or unconsciously. Yeah. Right, so when you look at the, into the Bible, it says, he that walks with the wise shall be as wise. wise. That's evolution. Yes, sir. Because naturally, when you look at why are we black, why are Caucasians white? Yeah. It's because of where certain people lived at a particular time. If yeah, you right. lived in the tropical regions, you had to have a lot of melanin. Yeah. Because all that melanin would help bounce off um, a lot of UV rays from the sun yeah. so you don't die. Yeah. But if you lived in the Arctic Circle or in, the, in where there was less sun, yeah. you had to have lighter skin. Yeah. Why? Because there was limited sun. You need sun. Yeah. They had to have lighter skin yeah. so that you can absorb what More. little sun is available. Yeah. And that's why some people are, are, are light skin, some are dark, some are black. That's yeah. what makes those racial colors happen. Yeah. Evolution is what made us who we are. Yeah. But we are able also to evolve mentally. So. If you understand that evolution is the natural proclivity of man, you've got to ask yourself, am I evolving consciously or unconsciously? Am I evolving in a way that is compatible with where I am going? So when it says, he that walks with the wise shall be as wise, you have put yourself in an environment of wisdom and yeah. you would naturally become wise. Well, you would naturally evolve yeah. into those attributes of wisdom. Yeah. And that's why when you are around people that are funny, you naturally become funny. Absolutely. And it's not because you are copying their jokes. Yeah. It's because some part of your brain that is responsible for connecting ridiculous situations yeah. and turning them into yeah. humor. Yeah. It begins to light up every time you're yeah. around them, every time you're hearing them. Yeah, this is spark. Yeah, it, it just keeps on doing that. Yeah. And over time, one day you would see a mundane situation yeah. 
and you just have to explain it in a way that causes raucous laughter everywhere. Yeah. What happened? That was evolution because you yeah. have not always been that way. Yeah. All right. So as human beings, you've got to think, um, first of all, from the position of self-knowledge, who am I? There are so many ways of knowing who you are, yeah. of, of, of uh, figuring out what exactly is in me that is unique to me. Mm. And every human being has that. Yeah. And when you have that, it is your duty to harness it. Yeah. When you are able to harness it, it's your duty to also cultivate it. All right? yeah. That thing, cultivation, means that when you, have, when you plant a, a, a tree yeah. or a little plant, cultivation means that you have to consciously water, make um, yeah, you have to consciously um, incubate it, yeah. you water it, yeah. you weed it, yeah. you may need pesticides, you yeah. to build a fence around it so yeah. that to animals don't come animals. out. To protect animals. That's really what it means, to cultivate. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got to cultivate that. Now, in the process of cultivation, you probably stumble upon certain factors yeah. that will even enhance that plant. Yeah. That's how we came up. We first of all started using manure. We call yeah. manure the app. When goats or animal dung is around this thing, yeah. it tends to grow faster. Yeah. What's the principle behind it? Yeah. We've got fertilizer. Fertilizer, yes. And um, yes. we, we, we kept on progressing, yeah. all right? And so, in the same way, when you, but, but only because you know that plant, you figured it out, yeah. you understand what, that. Would, what particular fertilizer would work for that particular plant? Exactly. And you know what kind of uh, nutrients this particular need. plant needs yeah. versus this other one. Yes. Which is why, even though a cactus, yeah. you know, would grow, would, would do okay in the yeah. desert, yeah. corn will not grow there. True. All right? So, but your knowledge of it as a, as a, as a higher animal, as a man, will help you be able to treat this plant differently, yeah. that plant differently. Yeah. So you don't see somebody who has blown and think, oh, please, sir, what are your secrets to success? Eh, eh, no, self-knowledge, <laughs> who are you? Know yourself. Know man, yourself. Know thyself. All right, so when you know yourself, it is up to you now to observe your environment. Yeah. All right, if you go back to the Garden of Eden story, it says that everything that they needed for food was within that garden. It's a metaphor. Everything that is needed for your evolution, for your conscious evolution, it is around you. Yeah. But you will not get far if you didn't start from self-knowledge. Yeah. You're going to be looking for food that is good for this other person. True. And eating, I wonder why you're not growing. True. God, when? True. Right? So you start from knowing yourself and then you figure out what are the best um, technologies around me. Yeah. All right? We have social media. Yeah. We have the internet. Yeah. We have e-commerce. We yeah. have the global. It's not about, oh, it's on the rain now. E-commerce is raining. Yeah. Copyright, no. Go to know room. yourself. And then you know the nutrients that you need, that you need the most. Wow. All right? And that's process of constantly harnessing, harnessing. and cultivating your self is what other people will see as reinvention yeah amazing but you don't call it that yeah because that's not what you didn't say oh how yes. do i reinvent myself yeah. right now no you're just growing yeah right yes. and yet you're fertilizing yourself you're watering that soil yeah. you're cultivating it it's just growing all you're focused on is just growing that plant yeah people who are not privy to that your process of growing yeah. that plant they will call it different names yeah. they'll call it reinvention yeah. they'll call it whatever purpose. Yeah. <laughs> you know, focus or whatever, but it starts with knowing yourself and okay. then cultivating yourself. Wow, so reinvention is more, um, it's not really a name you choose to call it, it's um, the outcome of the processes you've been able to um, amount as a result of your growth. So I think this is really beautiful because when people get to understand themselves, they get to learn more about themselves, it will be easier for them to now understand what are the actions I need to take, what are the necessary ingredients that I need for my own process that would now um, take me to the next level and attract the kind of opportunities I'm looking for so that we don't get to, you know, you go up, you go up on social media and you're saying, I want to be like this person, I want to be like that person. It's more like, who do I need to become? What do I need to do? And I think that if people can really understand the things you've said today, it will really help them to, you know, to amount to different versions of themselves. And, and you have to realize that even that thing you're, you're, you're saying here, yeah. Of discovering yourself yeah that in itself is a multifaceted topic because wow. when you discover yourself there's a step there that some people get stuck on wow. and that is acceptance of self okay mm. accepting yourself in this world is a is an act of rebellion okay 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 because there are a lot of influences around you yeah. that are being marketed to you. To you. Yes. True. And that is why I say a lot of youth, they are easily led astray. True. Due to many um, reasons, you, you, can, you can call them different names yeah. government, the economy, yeah. hardship, yeah. 
And so anybody who can just throw a few dollars in the air, boom, whatever that person is doing, Baba and you, da 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 Okay, when the person gets arrested, thrown in jail, who's the next one? <laughs> True. Right? True. And that's because people have not come to a point where after, because some people get to that point of self-discovery. Yeah. Now they know who they are, but it's not enough. They see, they think they see that as not enough. Yeah. Because what they are right now is not popping. Or is that's, not, that's seduced by some things that they think they should be. Exactly. All right? Wow. Because they've not been taught, because see, there's so many principles about life that you will learn from agriculture. Yeah. Because in agriculture, it's not the day that you sow that you will reap. Very true. Right? You reap with time. You reap later than you sow. Yeah. However, you reap more. Yeah. Than you sow. But people who don't understand this principle, you discover yourself. Yes. But you can accept yourself like, ah, just that. I want what this one is doing. You know? So, self knowledge, self discovery. Cool. And there's self acceptance. Yeah. This is who I am. But you see, sometimes not only their fault, sometimes the pressure of society is too much. Very true. All right? <laughs> Let me give you an example. Is this my hair? Yeah. This is my natural hair. <laughs> I didn't do anything to it. Okay. All right? It's always been like this. I saw people are asking, like, this is. Yeah. Bidi, this is. The thing is, the only people that know that this is my natural hair yeah. are those who have ever seen me out of the shower. That okay. is my family members. Yes. My father, mother, and my siblings are yes. the only ones that know that this is my natural hair. Okay. However, I grew up in a time when this hair was seen as unserious. Okay. Right. True. So only my father and my younger ones knew that this is how I was born. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So the thing is, when I'm just straight out the shower, this is how it looks. Okay. But I use a comb and yeah. when I comb, comb, yeah. comb, 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 yeah. it becomes straight like yeah. afro. Yeah. Put that cream. It becomes straight like afro. Yeah. So people think I'm normal. Wow. Right. So all through boarding school, university, in the hostel, nobody knew that this was my actual. But some of my roommates may have seen it, and even they were doubting. They thought I did something. Yeah. So only my family did. All right. But over time, as I began to get on that actual journey of um, self um, knowledge, yeah. All right. I began to like at the beginning, starting out my career, it was not very. Um, it was not very savory. Okay. To have this kind of hair, yeah. so I kept straight hair yes. until <laughs> I got where I was going. Okay, okay, <laughs> right. okay, okay. Because of our society, if I was yeah. in a country where it's not an issue, yeah, you could fine. do it. All right, so so that's why I said there's a lot of young people who it's not as if they are necessarily weak. Yeah, but it's because who they are is not currently celebrated or accepted by the dominant culture of where they are wow so even that self-acceptance to some people is an act of rebellion, rebellion. all right like and you have to just look behind and just i don't care what anybody thinks exactly. this is what i want to do this is who i want to become exactly wow all right but even that saying i don't care terms and conditions apply, apply. I always <laughs> ask to terms use, and conditions apply i always ask people to use wisdom yeah so i didn't start out saying oh i want to be myself no no, no. Yeah. sometimes being yourself might cost you a to lot cost you a lot can you bear the cost yes no be objective no, about so that in person. nigeria you know there are some places like some offices you want to knock and they're like sorry like just go and you know there's a lot of street wisdom. I don't realize there's a lot on camera. There's a lot of street wisdom. I know some of my friends don't want to share, but <laughs> there, are certain, <laughs> there are certain people that are favored based on certain ways that they look. True. All right? True. There are some people who work, they work to office, young men, yeah. work to offices knowing that they stand a better chance of getting a contract yeah. if they wearing a wedding ring. That is absolutely true. Uh, this, this is an uh, inside house gist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. And so yeah. people talk about it a lot. Yeah. People think it only happens to females. It happens to men too. Yeah. If a single man, versus a married man, the, the bias in front of the person that is making yeah. the decision is that you run, you, you, you get the money and you run away. So they want to be sure that you are responsible to someone. That, exactly. That wow. is how it is seen. Yeah. Right? So sometimes people have had to bend. Yes. They're not married by the way I ring and go for that thing. True. <laughs> and True. let them tell the person they assume. Yeah. Like, so I don't, um, I'm not promoting that. Yeah. I'm just saying this is the reality that yeah. sometimes even acceptance of self yeah. can be an act of rebellion depending on where you are. Terms and conditions apply. You look at the governing culture of where you are. Um, there's a place in the Bible where it says, don't kick against the goods. Yeah. Sometimes, and Mike Morlock would say, not every battle has a reward. Wow. I live under your appearance. I say, not to be myself. Calm down. You have a whole lifetime to be yourself. True. All right. True. Everybody has different circumstances. Yeah. All right. Somebody that left the house early and is being themselves, it's not yeah. the same as somebody who needs their parents to survive. Yeah. All right. People ask me questions all the time that, oh, sir, all these things, my parents forced me to do this religion that I don't agree with. Yeah. And they think because I'm radical, I'll say, yes, I tell them, look, it is unnecessary to be rebelling right now. Yeah. True. So, so are this, it costs you so are much. Are they asking to sacrifice 
human bodies to, to mm. the devil. No, what is the why they're asking you to do? It's not that. Submit yeah. for now. Yeah. All right? Okay, you want to go out now. You Where will you live? You, now they are giving you free shelter. Yes. All right? Go, go ask as it be for Nigeria. Yeah. You are having free shelter. They are giving you money. Yeah. You are getting free food. Use yeah. it to build yourself. To build yourself. To when build. it is time for you to have your independence, there is enough time in front of you to be yourself. So if you are a young person and you are not following John Obidi, you want to follow John Obidi now on all platforms. His name is John Obidi. So go follow John Obidi so you can learn some life lessons. You can have sense. You can have new wisdom. You can have new level of wisdom that can help you to become a different version of yourself that can help you attract different opportunities. So thank you so much, sir, for being here. Thanks for having me. I appreciate me. you. And guys, go subscribe. Thank you for watching.